Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I thought I would share with you my current most up-to-date coach collection. Um, all the bags, SLGs, um, other miscellaneous things that I have, I thought I would combine in one video to share with you. Coach is probably one of my all-time favorite brands. I've really loved the brand for a long time, and I would say for sure the brand that I have the most items of. So whether that's from bags to like small leather goods, all the way to a couple clothing items throughout the years, which I no longer have, but um, I've definitely delved into a range of um, categories, I guess you could call it, um, within the brand. So today I'm gonna share with you everything that I currently have. Um, I am missing one item which is currently in the office but I will uh, state that when I come to that section. So I think how I'm going to organize this is I'm going to start with kind of the bags, uh, kind of probably go largest to smallest and then kind of go into SLG's pouches and then kind of end with more of the miscellaneous uh, clothing sort of things or other items that I don't know how to categorize at this moment. So, um, but starting off, I'm going to actually start with my rogues. So I have this one right here. This is the rogue 30 or 31. Um, and this is a beautiful deep green rogue. I love this so much. It comes with the um, little key ring or clochette and it does of course come with the hang tag all of my pieces have hang tags but i do normally take them off especially for bags slgs i sometimes keep them on but just if you're wondering i do have them they did come with them i just don't currently put them with it and i love this one especially for the inside the, I think that's what sold me on this, is the inside with the lighter green color with the bow patterning on it. I thought that was so cute and I just love that inner detail on this bag. And this does of course come with some shoulder straps as well with kind of a C chain which is really quite nice. I do normally actually use the longer straps when I use this but uh, when I'm storing it I just put them inside the bag. So this is actually the largest bag that I currently have from Coach. Next, I have the Coach uh, Rogue 25, and this one is in this, uh, the classic kind of pebbled leather, and then it has the uh, goldenrod suede interior. This one is such a cute bag. I'm a huge fan of the Rogue style, so this is the one that I have here. And then my newest bag in my collection is this Rogue 20 right here. So as you can see, it doesn't have any of the hang tags, but it did of course come with it. Um, I love this piece so much. It came with the crochet detailing, which I really loved. Um, and I actually haven't, I've only worn this out once um, because of the colder weather moving in, but hopefully this will be getting a lot more use next year when it warms up, but I really just love this piece regardless. I think this is so cute. This is a older bag right here. This is, I think, the Rider 24, I wanna say, but I really love this piece. It's a crackled metallic leather, and I absolutely love this bag. It's a really classic shape, and I've had this for a number of years, and I do find myself taking this out when the colder weather rolls around, so I really love this piece. Next is one of my favorite pieces as well. This is a Parker 18 and I absolutely love this. This is a, another metallic bag as well uh, with kind of that black copper or gunmetal hardware. I really love this piece. It's the perfect going out bag I find and it fits everything that I need. So really love this. I really hope that they bring back this sort of style again. I know I would say the current Madison is their replacement for the Parker, but I just really love the simplicity of this and how easy it was to use and just how streamlined it is. So this is that. Now I do have a Madison. I have this Madison 16 in the quilted black leather. I really love this piece, although it is very small and because it is quite stiff on the inside. So when you open the uh, flap, it's quite stiff and especially the base of the bag, it is very stiff. I do find it really hard to fit items in it, but I do adore the look of this. I did have a gray suede, well, it was in three different types of leather, but I did have a gray Madison 16, which I have since sold. So this is the only one remaining in my collection. Next, I have this kip right here. This is very cute. I purchased this secondhand this year um, and I am actually considering maybe selling it. I do absolutely love the look of this though, so I am really thinking hard about it. But I have to say, although it isn't 
that small because of the gussets on the sides right there it does actually cut into the amount of space that this has on the inside and I find that I just end up gravitating to other bags over this one so I don't know but for now it's still my collection and I do absolutely adore the look of this Next, I have two clutches. So the first one right here in, is in chalk and it's in this um, nice kind of pebbled leather. And I love these little small tea rose detailings and these like star studs. I thought this was really cute. I've gotten really good use out of it throughout the years, especially for events. Um, it's just such a nice clutch. It does come with a detachable and adjustable crossbody strap. So when I do need that, it's available. So it's really nice. But otherwise, it's a really great clutch and love using this for events and I actually have another one so I have it in this black leather with again tea roses also some suede detailing there too I really really love this especially just how it's more kind of an organic uh, pattern versus this one is quite it's just you know symmetrical and all of that I really love how you know kind of more organic this pattern is it's also in gunmetal hardware so it really goes with everything Inside is a really nice, more substantial leather than I find a lot of the other newer coach pieces come with. Uh, but I just, I really love this piece and I've gotten really good use out of it throughout the years. Okay, so I'm going to start into kind of more of the wristlets and pouches, but starting off I have this beautiful 1941 leather sequined little number right here. I think it's called a clutch, I'm not sure, but it's basically like a wristlet um, and it comes of course with the wristlet right here and the hang tag um, and it's just the detailings of this is so beautiful all of these sequins are leather metallic leather and it just shines so nicely inside is also leather lined um, it has some slip pockets here and there and a fully functioning zip compartment as well with the usual nice thick canvas lining there and i can just about fit my phone in this uh, compartment. I do have to take off the um, phone case though, but it's just overall is a very, very tight fit. So it basically fits cards and my phone. Um, and I've only worn this out once, but it's something that I just don't want to let go of because I just love the look of it. And I really appreciate the craftsmanship on this piece. Next, I have this really old outlet uh, wristlet right here. It's in this buttery soft leather though. And this has come a long way. I have worn this quite a bit actually um, and I really love how it actually has a really nice decent amount of depth in it so you can actually fit a good amount of things in this. It has a silver hardware and I just love that it's just a quick kind of turn lock closure. I have it stuffed but inside it's just a nice fabric interior and yeah this has gone good use out of it. It has this little wristlet here and of course I've just left the hang tag on this one. Uh, this nice thing also comes with, I'm sure it's meant for maybe your keys or something like that, but it does have this little leather hook with a d-ring on it and so sometimes what I've done actually, I'm just going to quickly do it here, sometimes what I've actually done is I've taken this out right here and because you can unhook this one side of the wristlet strap you can actually hook it on to that and then it becomes more of a natural shoulder strap. I mean, if I'm wearing something, I think it's not going to fit over, but it's more convenient, I find, to just throw it over my arm. And if I'm wearing just like a nice, you know, strappy dress or something, you can also just throw this over your shoulder. It doesn't have much of a drop, but this is kind of a cool additional thing you could do. And I'm sure actually now with, you know, those strap extenders, you could even make this a longer piece. And I do still see this uh, wristlet floating around, uh, not necessarily in the leather finish. I do find it more in the uh, canvas material, like in a jacquard or something like that with the C's on it. But I do think this is quite a gem and very versatile. So really love this piece. Next, I have another really cute piece right here. This one I think I got uh, a year ago or two years ago, but this one is so cute and I really loved the details with the leather embroidery. That really got to me. I love the little details in the B right there and I do have a video on this as well. Has quite a bit of room on the inside, has some card slots too. This is nice because it does fit uh, a number of phone sizes. Definitely fits my phone, no problem. I have a Samsung S22, so this one right here is really great. I've honestly only worn this a couple times, uh, but this is more, I guess, something to keep in my collection that I really love looking at. 
Next I have this right here. This is a very old outlet L-zip wristlet and it's from the Pac-Man collection and this is the perfect size for a passport. So I actually keep my passport in here and I use it to carry it around as well as any other travel cards that I might need. So it does have those two card slots in there. And yeah, this is just a, such a cute piece and I always just bring it with me when I travel. Next I have this really cute uh, Julian uh, coach cosmetic case. I really love this. I use this all the time when I'm traveling and it fits everything that I need. Uh, I still have a bunch of things in here that I've left in there but it has a nice wipeable interior and a really good substantial amount of room on here. Um, I have a video on this as well and actually a video on a lot of these different pieces so I will leave those all in the description box if you want a little bit more information but aside from that I just loved the detailing on this. Um, I thought it was really cute and yeah, I've made really good use out of it. All right, next is the Nolita 15 and I really love this piece. I have a video on this because I did actually remove the leather little strap that it came with and replaced it with this more dainty chain, which I much prefer over that uh, leather strap. I also prefer it over their thicker chain strap that sometimes comes with these, especially in the older um, Nolita 15s. But aside from that, I've really gotten great use of this. Um, I use it actually as a catch-all when I'm traveling. I usually put all my electronics in here, so cords, chargers, that sort of thing, and it's all really great. Also, if you really wanted to, you could use this as a little micro bag if that's something that you like to do. It's actually very similar <laughs> to this color, but overall, I just really love the look of this piece, and I'm very happy that I have it in my collection. Next, I have this little makeup pouch right here. This one is so cute. I'm not sure if they really make this style anymore. For quite some time, they did on a multitude of different patterns for the coated canvas, but this one is so cute. It's just uh, a canvas interior with a little slip pocket. I was thinking of selling this at one point, but then I did end up using this on a trip of mine, so it is still in my collection, but this is a very cute little piece. And then finally I have this little, I guess you could call it a pencil case or some sort of other pouch. Uh, this is an outlet piece and this is super easy to uh, put a number of things near. It has just a mesh pocket on the interior and otherwise it's cloth lined. Uh, this is gunmetal hardware and a really cute green color. Uh, when I saw this I thought this would be really useful. Not only you could use that as a pencil case or anything like that, I actually use this as like a toiletry case if I really need to just throw in maybe like a toothbrush, um, travel size toothpaste, that sort of thing with me wherever I'm going. This is just really convenient to stick. Um, longer items. So I really like using this for those kind of situations and I think last I saw they still do make this, not 100% sure, but not in this color in particular, but they always release new colors as well. So here's that. Now I'm going to move on to more of like my SLGs, like my wallets. I'm going to start off with this one right here. This is the oldest piece in my collection. This is a very old Coach Trifold wallet. Uh, for the longest time, I used this as my travel wallet. It's a really cute, bright fuchsia pink on the inside, lots of card slots, and of course the lining is this really cute rainbow kind of uh, check pattern. I don't know what you'd call the pattern exactly, but so cute. And uh, yeah, so full-size bill compartment there, um, and then lots of card slots. There's actually a little pocket here you could stick something in there. Sometimes I just throw in receipts, and then a really nice uh, roomy, gusseted uh, compartment for change and all of that. So love this. It's basically retired for me though. You can see lots of watermarks and nicks and all that kind of stuff, but this still feels so nice. Um, and this will definitely remain in my collection for quite some time. Next, I have this little bifold wallet. This is a really great wallet for traveling and this has basically replaced that wallet for me. So this is in a really nice deep green color, has a nice convenient slip pocket and the back there. And then inside here, full bill compartment, uh, as well as a nice uh, roomy pouch for change and then uh, just a few card slots right there. So this one has gone with me throughout um, a number of, actually most of my trips I would say for this year and last year when I got this. So this is a really great piece. Then I have two card holders from Coach. So I have this one right here, which I love. This is a full leather piece. It has a darker leather interior right there, but I love this. It has a little bit of a gold sheen to it. One of my favorite card holders and yeah, I love using this quite a bit. And it just has the genuine Club 10 leather stamping right here. And otherwise, it's a very simplistic card holder. 
This one right here has this really cute embroidery with, of course, the little mushroom here. This is from the Coach Originals collection and it has a leather lining on the interior there and then a um, canvas material lining for the rest of the card slots. And it's just plain on the back side there, but this is a super cute uh, card holder and I'm so happy that I managed to grab this. And lastly for my card holders is this little piece. So this is a little bit special. I was on the hunt for this because this was a gift with purchase a uh, number of years ago, which I missed out on. And then when I saw this pop up, I think on Poshmark or Depop, I was super excited and I picked this up. So I just love the color of this. Super cute little blue number with a very cute tiny little C turn lock. Opens up the leather line. It's just a deeper navy color in there. Um, and probably my favorite part is just the different tea roses on the top of this. So this is definitely one of my favorite pieces from Coach. Uh, just a little cute piece that is a little bit rare. So if you're interested in this, just keep your eyes peeled on the secondhand market, Poshmark, Depop, eBay, that sort of thing. And hopefully you can snag one as well. So nearing the end, I have one kind of key ring, a uh, little more novelty item right here. This was one of the first ones that they released of this tiny little rogue. It actually has a key ring, which I've taken off and I just store it inside the rogue right here. So this I've just taken off, it comes with a clip and everything, but I've just taken it off and kept the little tag here. So it's just like a regular rogue. So look at this. Oh, so cute. Um, anyway, so I just thought this was so cute and I was super excited when I did pick it up. And this honestly is just a cute little piece that sits on my home office desk. It just sits there and looks very cute. So there is that. And this is the one that I'm missing one of them. So I actually have two of these coach notebook uh, covers, but they also come with actual notebooks. So this one is the one that I keep at home and the other one that I uh, don't currently have on hand is actually currently in my office at work. So here is that and it does open up and it comes with a actual notebook. So there's that one. I do recommend the outlet version over the boutique version, but I do have videos on both of these. Uh, so this one and the outlet version that I do have. So if you're interested, check it out. I do highly recommend these though if you are looking for um, a leather notebook cover. I think these are really cute pieces. And I think especially for the boutique version that comes in really nice packaging, it's a really great gift option if you're looking to get something for someone who really loves stationery and notebooks. So there is that. And so throughout the years I have had um, a couple of clothing items which I no longer have. I've also had some shoes which I also no longer have. Um, the only thing that I really have remaining are these coach slippers right here. So these are my little coach slippers that I actually just keep and wear at home. I really love them. They're super soft and fluffy and I just really liked the coach jacquard detailing on these as well. I did um, spill <laughs> nail polish all over this one. Uh, did my best to clean up so that's that but yeah i really like these ones i can't remember if these are the boutique ones or if these are coach outlet versions but i thought these were really great either way uh, and on the bottom they actually have the coach c's as well but yeah that is my entire current coach collection if there's anything missing here other than the notebook cover of course that uh you've seen in other videos of mine it just means that i have moved them along to a more loving home for them uh probably because i either just no longer wanted them just didn't get enough use out of them or i've just you know decided that they needed to move on so if you have any questions though definitely leave those down below and i will do my best to answer them a lot of these probably will have videos on them on my channel and so for any of them that I do have videos on I will definitely leave a link down below so check those out if you are interested but aside from that thank you as always for taking the time to watch my video also for those that have subscribed to my channel I really appreciate it I honestly can't believe that I am nearing a thousand subscribers that to me is mind-boggling but if you do like my videos I'd really appreciate if you do subscribe for more I definitely do have a couple more things down the line that I'm planning to do but you know it is a little bit slow I'm quite busy nowadays and so you'll probably see that I my consistency although I'm trying to be consistent uh, you'll probably see that I don't always have videos come out and really the reason for that is because I find that if I don't have something to say or if there's nothing that I really 
think would be beneficial or useful or interesting, um, I just tend to not want to film. So that's kind of a quick excuse, I guess you can say, for my lack of videos, but I do have some planned that I'm excited to film coming up. So please stay tuned for those. But aside from that, I hope you all have a fantastic day. Um, thank you if you've made it all the way to the end of my video. Uh, but aside from that, I will see you all in the next video.